What's going on, Adam here. This is What's Good in Riverside. And today, we're gonna go check out our three favorite coffee shops. I have my buddies on here, Daniel and Ryan. If you notice, they're good uh, coffee vibes. They have a YouTube channel, go check them out. Their link will be below. And uh, we're in downtown Riverside at Molino's. Obviously, everyone who's been following me for years know this is my spot. I have so many great memories here with my grandfather. And uh, let's go check this place out. So I got the uh, the drip, the dark, black. Like you know, I like drinking all my coffee black. Good flavor, temperature's good. I always get three ice cubes in it because it's so hot. I like drinking it right away. Uh, I'm a big fan of this place. It's not the most um, coffee uh, snob place in the world, but you know what? I like it more than Starbucks, so. Okay, so to Adam's point, he called us coffee snobs and he said our types of coffee places are coffee snob places, so. Yes, that's part of the reason why we're doing the video today is because everybody has different coffee preferences. One, this is more of your traditional coffee place with darker roasts. They wouldn't be categorized as a specialty coffee spot. So <laughs> here, I thought this would be fun. Adam, tell us why you think we're coffee snobs. Because every time I have coffee with them, they're like, do you taste the berries? I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't. And then they have the pour over thing. And they're like, do you smell that? I'm like, no, I, I smell coffee. If you heard him a few seconds ago, he says he likes to drink his coffee right away. That's probably why he burned his taste buds and now he can't taste anything anyways. Literally, it makes no sense. You just put it in the Keurig, pop it down, cup of coffee. It's as good as the pour over. It's the same. Or the French press, all right? Someone's got things to do around here. That's why we think it's hilarious. Everybody likes coffee for different reasons. Adam falls into the category of just giving my coffee for the caffeine content and I'm ready to go. Yeah. So I actually like it. So the next couple places we're gonna go are more specialty coffee places and um, we can kind of gauge the differences there. This right here is an iced vanilla latte. It's generally my go-to. Nothing against this place again, but my preference is something a lot less sweet so I can taste the coffee flavor. Cause that thing yeah. is sweet. It's pretty I sweet. I tasted it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Which so. depends what you like. If you want your sugar fix, yeah. come here. So here I probably would get a, a ice latte uh, with no vanilla syrup just so we have straight coffee and milk. Hey, what's up guys? This is stop number two on our coffee crawl today in Riverside, California. We're going to Lyft Coffee in Riverside. Let's go check it out. Check it out. It says they're closed. What? Closed for maintenance apparently. Closed for maintenance today. Oh man. Ah oh, man. What? Fail. I'm excited about this place too, man. <laughs> All right, um, since we didn't get to get in and have any coffee, I'm a frequent flyer here too, I'll tell you a little about it. They're more of a specialty coffee roaster. Um, it's really nice inside, the vibes. So carrying the narrative of kind of the different types of coffee shops and different types of uh, reasons why people drink coffee, this is along the sides of the specialty like we were talking about. And if you really care about flavor and ambiance and really going to a place where you can hang out once COVID restrictions are gone, this would be one of those types of places. So yep. they're both, they're a roaster also. So typically mm -hmm. when you get someone who roasts their own beans, they're gonna put a little, put a little bit more effort into that ambiance and specialty mm -hmm. side of coffee yep. drinks. Yep. Um, so yeah, these, these guys are one of my favorites yeah. too. Too bad they're closed. Let's jump to the third coffee shop, let's go. Hey, what's up everybody? We're at Arcade Coffee in downtown Riverside. So I got the black coffee. It's super hot. They did a fresh pour over for me. Uh, good flavor. I don't need cream or sugar. Uh, if it's a little strong, they only, for medium, right? I think it's more on the darker side, but they also have light, so I think it's a good taste. I'm always coming back to get my black coffee here. All right, so I got a nice vanilla latte. My brother got some cold brew. Yep. Um, I'm kind of a frequent flyer here. I come here all the time. I'm actually super partial to this location. Um, I know the owner, I know his family, and they're really good and I love to support them. So 
Um, any way this can get out, um, Arcade Coffee in Riverside is a really good spot. I'm always a fan of their ice vanilla lattes. I got, I can't say anything bad about it. They're always really good. So I got a straight up cold brew here. The balance on it is really good. It's it's super smooth. I don't need to add, feel like I need to add anything to this either. We love the coffee here. This is actually my favorite coffee shop in Riverside too. So um, yeah. I'm gonna try and be I'm gonna try and be non-partial to the other coffee shops, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And it's obviously more along the lines of your specialty coffee roaster, and they got great atmosphere, great vibes. I mean, you look, there's a lot of people sitting out here, so. Um, thumbs up. Well, we just got done with our coffee crawl. We stopped by three spots, well, kind of two spots. Sucks yep. that the lift was closed. We're gonna have to check that out next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Share in the comments what favorite coffee you like drinking, and you have to go check out my boy's channel. Link will be down below. And uh, if you love coffee, you gotta check these guys out. Until next time, peace.